Hello my soccer universe. Well, this midweek was uh, characterized by lots of cup action, league cup action mostly and you saw it in my first what to watch video of the year that I had the English league cup in there. I forgot about the French league cup and I on purpose forgot about the Spanish super cup very quickly. I will not cover this tournament. I'm not watching it and I'm not interested in it. Uh, the reason is two if not threefold. Reason number one, the format is absolutely crazy. A Super Cup should be a preseason tournament between the cup winner and the champion. Champion and cup winner are the same. Decide whether it's the, it is the second place team or if it's the run up of the cup con 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 competition. Uh, do it there. Four team tour tournament. How, is, how do you decide on Real Madrid? How do you decide on Atletico Madrid? Because they finish one, two, three, four. Well, yeah, I mean, it sounds great. It's a friendly tournament. It's the least important of the big trophies. That's the number one. Number two, why I don't like it. Why are you selling off? I mean, I made, I'm guilty of it. I made the mistake that I already talked a lot about, I will talk maybe too much about the Italian Super Cup. Then Serie A is always a little bit closer to my heart than La Liga. Still, I should not have because it's the same problem. Why do you sell that tournament to Saudi Arabia? Uh, you're not getting local. You're not getting the real fans in there. Yes, you want to sell the product abroad. I understand that part. It just there is so much wrong with this uh, from a political, ethical, whatever point 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 of view. And uh, not to talk about the soccer perspective. And third, the teams are getting different amounts of money to start. Valencia is getting half the money, if at all, than Real Madrid and Barcelona. That's the next no. I'm not going to talk about this one. Uh, you cannot take this seriously. We have La Liga, Copa del Rey. We're not talking about this, the Spanish Super Cup. But we will surely talk about the English League Cup, where actually I saw the first half of the Manchester Derby, and I saw the first half and the first 15 minutes of Leicester against Villa. So I'm... Very happy about to talk about that. I'm wearing Manchester City, so uh, because it was pretty clear. First of all, the jersey matchup, I found it very interesting that both could play in white pants. I don't know how you would have undone the um, uh, City kit to make it fit. You could have let City play in black. But to be honest, I really liked it. I think this is how they should be playing. And play Manchester City did. Uh, there was a short period where there was kind of touchy feely. Yes, there were many um, players missing, and there's a, a flu epidemic. But the way Manchester City took uh, United apart was just, uh, I want to say, outstanding. I mean, what Bernardo Silva, the, the goal, yes, he could have been attacked a little bit more, but the shot was just a laser. Riyad Mahrez, after a nice uh, ball from, uh, I think it was De Bruyne. Dances around the goalkeeper, uh, makes it 2-0, and then um, Andres Pereira with an own goal five minutes later, 3-0 at the half, and it could have been many, many more to be honest. At times, United was not on the field. Uh, in the second half, it actually continued, and it was actually quite surprising that Marcus Rashford could pull one back, because I think it was closer to being 4-0 or 5-0 than being 1-3. So United gets a kind of reasonable result out of that but still Manchester City are the odds on favorites. In the second one Leicester City dominated mostly proceedings uh, however late in the first half suddenly uh, Villa got chances. I mean Villa was always standing tight and tried to um, interrupt um, Leicester and uh, keep them away from them but the way that they then managed to actually get the lead, um, where, you know, so you see, I really think he's a great defender. Uh, at first he clears and then he could have maybe stepped in with a little bit more um, aggression. But in the end, uh, the cross comes in and Freddy Gilbert can pull it into the net 1-0. And a few minutes later, uh, Villa even hits the bar. So it uh, could have been 2-0 at the half, totally against the run of play. We gotta be that much honest. In the second half, yes, um, Leicester City really tried, had many chances. Ian Nacho, after a nice intercept by Chaduri, 
puts it to Vardy, who puts it to Iheanacho, and puts it in, makes it 1-1. And that's how it ends. Leicester had the chance to win it. You gotta feel a little bit uh, discouraged. Yeah, you should have won this game. But on the other side, uh, Leicester City is still the awesome favorite, uh, in my opinion, to make it to that final. Uh, and probably also one that would give City a little bit more of a fight. So looking... Actually... Now in the same final stage, the League Cup is actually more interesting to me. Um, and we had another League Cup, the Coupe de la Ligue. I just saw the last few um, minutes of Lyon against Brest, where I actually saw two goals. But let's start on Tuesday. Reims against Strasbourg uh, ended goalless. And then Reims uh, wins it on penalties uh, for two. Note uh, the many penalty misses on Strasbourg side who missed two penalties. Lyon, uh, Brest, I saw 2-0 Lyon up, then Brest pulled one back a little bit out of nowhere when I stopped it when Brest tried to go forward. Um, they, uh, Lyon managed to put the game away in stoppage time. Little 2-0 over IMR, nothing but expected in PSG, and now it's Saint-Etienne 6-1. Let's quickly look who did do the scoring there, because that's always interesting. I'm sure we had Icardi on the score sheet a few times. Yeah, three times Icardi, Neymar, Mbappé, that was also an own goal. Uh, yeah, 3-0 at the half, and as far as I see, it was 6-0 before saint Etienne put one back in the 71st, so pretty rough beating. Well, that was my midweek action. Uh, let, let me know what you watched, uh, whether you took any... Uh, saw anything exciting, especially from the Coupe de la Ligue. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these. I want to also know what you think about me not talking about the Spanish Super Cup. And yeah, I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that would be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, Wish you a wonderful day. Bye.